Hey everybody, welcome to Terry's Tesla. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to take a look at how you can configure a custom Apple Watch face for your Tesla or other EV, even if you don't drive an EV, just how to configure your watch with a custom face. Let's take a look. Couple of days ago, I did a public service announcement where I showed people on a Facebook group um, some screenshots from my Apple Watch with a face I had configured specifically for controlling my Tesla EV. And the biggest question I got was, how do you do that? Like, how do you make one? I just take these things for granted because creating custom faces is not a new thing. It's been around since pretty much since day one of the Apple Watch. But what I think they're really getting at is, I don't see all that for my car. How do I do that? So let me show you what it looks like. Here's the face that I showed these screenshots from. And as you can see, it's got um, some normal stuff that we normally have on an Apple Watch. It's got my uh, activity rings in the upper left-hand corner. It's got the date and time. And it's got my Tesla stats in the middle. It's got my name of my car and the current charge rate. Then in the lower left-hand corner, it's got another charge rate, which we'll talk about that. It's got the plug share app and the current temperature. So what this app or what these apps are doing is they're putting on. So what these little widgets really are is they're called complications and complications come from apps. They're, they're not something necessarily native in the watch. Each app on your phone can have a complication for your Apple Watch. It's up to the developer. So for example, if we go back to the watch face I use on a regular basis, which is um, that one, we can see that this one probably has the most complications of any Apple watch face. I've got two time zones, San Francisco and Florence, Italy for the people I communicate with there. I've got my activity rings plus the actual numbers for where I stand on my activity. I've got the current temperature and what the temperature range is gonna be for the day. And then inside, uh, here we just wake it up. Inside, I've got my next meeting. I've got uh, complications for the current day and date. I've got one for my tip app. I've got one for my um, workout app. And I've got one for my um, home kit, smart home uh, to control various scenes for my watch. I can do all of this from my Apple Watch uh, just by tapping on any one of those. But even if I tap on one that's built in, what it does is it brings up that app. So really, all of these complications are simply shortcuts to apps. So if I swipe back over to the one for EVs and I tap on plug share, it brings up the plug share app for my watch and shows me the local chargers. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the three steps to configure your own custom face. So step one, and this is the most important step, you need an app that's going to give you the complications for your watch. So I'm going to show you two that I'm going to recommend. The first one is called Stats for Tesla. So it's in the bottom, bottom middle there on my home screen, or actually in my on-the-go folder. And if I tap on Stats, uh, the reason I like this is it gives you a lot of the same information you would get in a Tesla app. And it could even serve pretty much as a replacement for the Tesla app in many respects. But more importantly, it gives you more information. It gives you me, like for example, what it cost to charge my car the last time I charged it, which was about uh, 98 cents <laughs> based on my current electric rates and so forth and so on. Not taking into account for solar though. It's showing me um, my estimated range, my rated range, my driving efficiency, my miles per gallon, so forth and so on. And if I go here, I can even get into more details about the range, and, and this is why it's called stats. It gives you lots of stats about your car, your battery health, so forth and so on. My One of my favorite features in this one is this middle icon. It looks like a, a bell curve. And what this is, is, again, is showing me efficiencies and histograms, but I love the histogram of firmware versions because we're always waiting on that next software update. It lets you see where you are in relationship to other cars that use stats for Tesla, so thousands of cars. And you can see what updates are out past the one you have. 
and you can see where you are. So for example, my cars are both on 40.4, which is 37.6% of the users that use this app. So I'm pretty much current. There are some newer updates all the way up to 40.8, but they're like less than 1% of the user base right now. So those are kind of like those updates that are being tested, that are worked on by Tesla, and maybe they'll replace them. So you might not get 40.5, you might skip all the way to 40.8 because they found bugs in it. So it lets me know not only where I am, but what's coming and whether I'm behind or not, which is really what I'm looking for. So I don't get so concerned when, oh my God, 40.7 came out and I don't have it yet. Well, practically no one has it yet. So this is updated in real time. All right, so now, the reason you install this app and the reason you're gonna install the PlugShare app, which is right here, is that both of these apps come with Apple Watch complications. So step one, install the apps you want. I recommend Stats for Tesla. I don't get paid by them. I'm just recommending it because I like it. There's also one called Tesla Remote. I like them both. But I like stats a little bit better. Tesla Remote was the first one. It used to be called Remote S because it was back in the time where it was even before the Model X. They had a, a watch, they had an um, iPhone app that did way more than a Tesla app, and it always has. And they have a watch app as well, or watch complications. Um, but with that said, I'm going to recommend those two for now. You can always explore Remote as well, Tesla Remote, but pick the one you want. So you got to have at least one of those. Tesla Stats for Tesla or Tesla Remote. You don't need both, but you need one. All right, so now that you got those two apps installed, that's step one. Step two, you're gonna go to your watch app on your phone because on your phone, this is where you control what gets installed on your watch. So when I go here and it brings up my watch and shows me my current faces, chances are, if you've never done this, you might only have one face, the one that your watch came with. You can have hundreds or hundreds more if you want. But more importantly, before we get to that, step two is to scroll down and make sure you get to your uh, installed on this watch section and you want to make sure that your, your apps are installed. So there's remote, there's stats, and there's plug share. So they're installed. If they weren't installed, then you would keep scrolling down. You would go find them in this list. So for example, if I wanted to install ChargePoint, I could tap install for charge point and then the charge point app gets installed on my watch just because you have the app on your phone doesn't mean it's installed on your watch especially if you turned off when you set up your watch automatically install all apps which i did i don't need every single app in the world installed on my watch if i'm not going to use it so um, now i should have um, charge point there it is in the installed area so now that's step two Step one, go get the apps you want. Step two, install them on your watch. Step three, you're going to go to uh, go back up to the faces, and you'll see one, two, three, how many of you have installed, but that doesn't matter because you're going to go down to the free gallery in the middle, bottom middle, free gallery. And this is where you see literally dozens, if not hundreds of different faces, and they're always adding more faces. And what people that discover this do is they go find one they kind of like, and they tap on it and add it, and that's it. Any one of these can be customized now, but any one of these doesn't necessarily make it a good app for complication or good face for complications. Uh, some of the older ones. Okay, Numerals Mono and Numerals Duo. If you look at those, they don't have any complications. They're literally just the time. So they're not going to make a good face for configuring complications. So you got to pick a face where you see complications available on it, like this one has one in the lower left-hand corner for numerals. This one has one for motion, has one in the upper right corner and one in the lower left corner. Um, so when you see one that has complications, then that means it's a candidate for changing the complications to what you want. So the one I'm going to recommend so you don't have to waste time guessing or figuring it out, go to modular. You can always pick a different one later, but go to modular and pick one of those that you want to start with. Now, the one I showed you earlier was, I think, gold. Uh, since my car is red, I'm just going to pick a red one. And let's say you your car is blue and you didn't see a blue one. Well, you see that once you get here, you can change the color to whatever you want. So I'm wearing, for example, a purple shirt right now. If I like purple, I could choose purple. If my car were blue, I could choose blue. 
and choose whatever I want as the color that I want to uh, work with and go back to the red. And you can even use multiple colors so that the whole face is in color. Um, I kind of like that. Let's stick with that one for now. All right, so now don't hit add yet because all you're doing at this point is just change the color and you're gonna leave it on the default complications. This is where the fun part comes in where you get to pick and choose what you want and where. So for example, I like the date and time at the top. Now, the only thing you don't get to change is the time because it's a watch face, so it's gotta have the time on it. But everything else can be changed or turned off. So I like the date, I like the time. What I don't want in the middle is the uh, weather. So in the middle right now, it says weather. Uh, I'm gonna change the middle, tap on weather to, there's Tesla remote, but I'm gonna change it to stats. I like stats to be in the middle. Great, so that's how I got my charge rate and all that in the middle by just switching it to the stats complication. Next up, uh, breathing is in the lower left-hand corner. I never use that app, so I don't need to have breathe there. Uh, in the lower left-hand corner instead, I'm going to choose plug share. Uh, so if I scroll up now and go down to the P's, there is plug share. All right, and now plug share is in the lower left-hand corner. I do like my activity rings, so I like to see where I am every day on closing my rings of activity. So I'll leave that in the bottom right, or bottom middle. But bottom right is the heart rate. I don't want that. So I just tap on heart rate and change that one to, let's change that one to weather, because I do like knowing what the temperature is. All right, so we go to weather, and we go more. And we go weather conditions, we can go weather. So I like knowing what the temperature is, I'll just put the temperature there. There we are. And let me look at that, let me see if I like that one better than weather or weather conditions. Nah, let's go to, let's stick with weather. All right, weather, there we go. So now I've got the temperature in the lower right hand corner. Any one of these can be changed to whatever you want. So if you don't want the weather in the lower left, right hand corner, change it to something else. You don't like the date in the upper left corner, change it to something else. Now, at this point, once you've got it configured the way you want, now you tap Add. And when you tap Add, it not only adds it to the list of faces, it makes it the last one, but it activates that as the face on your watch right now. So it's showing me this is the face you just added, and here it is on your watch right now. So I can start using that face. So for example, um, here we go, let's wake it up. And I can say, hey, there's a little red, tap on little red, and it shows me, once it wakes up the car, it shows me able to control all of these things. So if I wanted to enable sentry mode, I could. If I wanted to open the charge port, yes, I'm sure, it opened the charge port. And once it does it, I feel a little haptic feel on my, on my wrist. So that happened. If I wanted to open the frunk, I could. If I wanted to open the trunk, I can. And again, just in case you tap something by accident, you do have to confirm it, which I do appreciate that. Let's go ahead and tap yes. And again, I felt that little haptic feel on my um, arm letting me know that it did it. I can lock the car at this point. And if you do have a Model S or Model X, tap, you will be able to close the trunk. So you'll be able to close it back down. Uh, climate, if I want to adjust the temperature in the car, I could do that right now. So all of that is cool to be able to do that right from my wrist anywhere in the world. I don't even have to be near the car to do any of that. I go back out, if I want to see the closest chargers in the area, wherever I am, it brings up charge, or um, not charge point, but plug share, and lets me see those chargers. And um, so that is how you configure a watch face on your Apple Watch. Now, if we go back to the phone, we can see that that's the last one. And you can hit edit, and you can even move them in order. So if I wanted that one to be right here or right here, I can move it in order and that puts them in the order that they're on my, my watch. Now, why is that important? Because on the watch, I don't worry about switching the faces on the phone because I can do it right here on the watch. If you swipe from the edge, you can change the face to whichever one you want. So for example, this is the face I use day in and day out, but if I go out for a walk, I switch to this face because it's got the August door locks for my front door and back door there. I use this, um, the button on my queue to open my garage door and of course start my um, run or start my walk. I'm going to do a walk, not a run. Start my walk using the workout app. 
So all of that is built in. If I'm gonna go on a road trip, there's my Tesla face ready to go. So you can swipe between your faces, you can create as many different faces as you want on your Apple Watch and just use whichever one works best for what you're doing. End of the day, I don't need to see my calendar, I don't need to see any of that, any of that other stuff. Maybe I'll switch it to a photos face that just makes me feel better whenever I look at my wrist and see my favorite photos. So that's it. Go configure as many watch faces as you want. Swipe between your favorites. Configure one for your Tesla. Configure one for your EV. Configure one for your run. Configure one for just walking in the park. Configure as many faces as you want. Swipe between them. Use them as you need. And have fun. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to check out my Instagram, uh, which is Terry's Tesla. All right. Cheers, everybody. Great. Bye.